welcome to the podcast stop crying poser greatest podcast known to man as voted by Ahmet, Aiden, Elif, Kemal, Mehmet, Asli, Boris, Demir, and Aylin. I typed in popular Turkish names. What made me think of that? I don't know. Shout out to everyone who chose to tune in live today. We have Sharky Genie, iBook Boy, Irrelevant, Muffins, Day Day, Bruce Wayne, Rast, Bitcoin, Mr. Defo, Toronto Toad, Infamy, Love My Toad, Day Day, Dingo, Dogger Doo Doo, Dogger Ding Dong Ding Dong, and Late Bloomer, Toronto Toad. I appreciate all of you guys for tuning in live right here on twitch.tv slash ninja lifestyle we do this podcast right around 3 30 p.m pacific time although right now it is 5 24 so what does that mean we are one hour and like 54 minutes late something like that it happens before you say anything let me explain with this i went gambling last night went out on the town went to paint the town red and uh won some money and listen i don't feel like i have like a problem but here's the thing if you put some money in my hand i'm never going home i'm getting fucked up with my friends actually we we did come home kind of early but we came home and just kept drinking here it was one of those nights where uh both stems and uh my buddy t they're like hey we're gonna have to sleep sleep on the couch and i'm like cool go for it i got blankets i got everything and then, uh, you know, 6 a.m. rolls around. They're like, I don't want to sleep here anymore. <laughs> so that was cool, man. Just a, just a fun night. This full stems. Last Friday, he won $2,000. Yesterday, he wins 900 So he's killing it. I hit 400 last night. So I'm killing it. I also won a bunch of games of pool. It was a very eventful Thursday. I usually wouldn't go out on a Thursday. But I did. I feel good today, though. You know, my big fear is like, oh, no, what if I'm too hungover for the podcast? I don't want to disappoint everybody. I mean, I, I don't want to, but I kind of also don't care. A lot of things have been going on this week. But before we get into the topics and the laughs, we have something serious to talk about. If any of you guys have Twitter, please do me a favor and kit. I'm just kidding. Uh... Go follow me or find me on there. You don't have to follow me. Go on there, find me under Ninja Lifestyle or find Doug Desatels. He's one of the viewers of the podcast. I've skated with him for many years. We've been internet friends for even longer. This guy has, uh, for lack of a better word, he has a fucking lump on his back, a big lump. And when I say lump, I mean like big, bigger than a softball, just poking out of his back like a mutant, like a ninja turtle that had too much of that green slime, but it only got into the center of his back. And he uh, he tweeted a picture of it, which is, it is it is a nasty some bitch, I'll tell you what. But he tagged uh, this celebrity doctor that is like famous for getting rid of lumps on people. <laughs> so I want you guys to go to his Twitter and retweet it. So that hopefully this dumb bitch bitch on tv will fix my friend's back so go on there find me on there i already retweeted it it should be my number one like my most recent tweet go find that or you can follow him at doug desautels uh d-o-u-g-d-e-s-a-u-t-e-l-s doug desautels fix his back man so i've seen it i've seen the lump in person i haven't touched it i was too afraid but it I remember back in the good old days, it was just like a, uh, it was like a little, I don't know what we would call it, like a little tennis ball. Like, oh, my friend Doug has a tennis ball on his back. It got bigger. What is it? I don't know. What's inside it? I don't know, blood or something? Maybe like skin? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know, dude. It's just a lump. But please go retweet that so that we have a better chance of that celebrity stupid ass doctor to go fix his shit. Uh, what's been going on in my life? Well, this month, I've spent more on Amazon than I think I've spent in my entire life. It's It's been working out, though. I don't like spending a lot of money. I'm very frugal. Uh, but I got a new bed. I got a new bed frame. I got these pads that go around the bed so it can't hurt my uh, shin. That's been going on. 
I got a cover for my mattress so that no bugs can get in it, no skin, no pee pee. Nothing can touch my mattress ever again. I've been buying just a lot of stuff online, little things. I bought hangers. I bought a steamer. So now I have uh, 30 hangers, which I, I think I have approximately 30 shirts. So that should be perfect. Just been spending a lot of money, which means I spend a lot of time on Amazon.com. By the way, buying a mattress on Amazon.com, very risky. But nobody said I wasn't a risk taker, okay? Really risky, but it worked out great because I, I'm now, uh, I'm enjoying the new mattress. At first I was like, well, the bed's a little lower. What if I'm not gonna like that? It's not as bouncy. What the fuck is memory foam? <laughs> what the fuck is juice? And, uh, but, but I've, I've been getting used to it. I got a bigger, bigger pill, big ass pill, big old pillow. I got five pillows. <laughs> one, one me, only one of me, five pillows. I'm living, I'm living the life, uh, just buying shit. So I'm spending a lot of time on amazon.com and I came, <laughs> I came across a tent. Have I ever in the history of of this podcast in the history of ever talking to you guys have i ever expressed interest in camping i'll give you a hint no that's also the answer the hint was also the answer no but <laughs> but i see this fucking tent and i'm like oh you know how much do tents go for i'm like 100 bucks whatever and then i look into it i'm like researching because i have nothing better to do a one person tent i'm like oh damn one person well, you know, a little space, it was a little more spacious. What if I have the dog? That's two people. I look up a two person tent. This motherfucker has 83% positive reviews. I'm like, God damn, that's huge for Amazon. All right. For, for, for context, I think my mattress is like a 60%. If I listen to the world, they would say, don't buy that mattress. I don't listen to the world though. I use the beat of my own dick. What is that saying? <laughs> Something about your, whatever. What that Joe Biden? Ah, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> so I look at this tent, bro. Guess how much it is? Twenty four ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine for a two person tent. You kidding me? It's like thirteen bucks a person, and it supposedly it might even last. It might even last a long time if I buy it, which I did just win some money last night. So I'm really thinking about buying this goddamn tent. But what am I gonna do with it? First off, in my in my <laughs> in my 09 Toyota Corolla, I can't even get to a place where where tents are necessary. I got front wheel drive, man. I can't get nowhere. Fuck, I can't even get to a place that requires tents. But I I have this this thing where I'm like <laughs> where I'm like <laughs> Well, I don't want to pass up this deal, right? Like, I feel like this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. When when else on earth am I going to find a tent for $24? Now, I know that's not that's not the way I should be thinking. I should be thinking, well, first off, bitch, you're always going to have a job, hopefully, and money and, and a place to live. So let's say that you wait two years and then you decide to go camping and you pay $35. Not that big of a deal, right? Only $10 difference. I know. The logical me should say, don't worry about it. 35, that's only $10 more. But the, but the real me is like, I gotta, I gotta buy this shit. So we'll see what happens. Uh, if the price is still $25, I might buy it. <laughs> I don't know why that's a topic, but, but uh, it is. I've been doing a lot of chores around the house and on top of my house. We did a stream the other day where I was trying to tar my roof. That was absolutely miserable. I, uh, I've tarred my roof three different times, right? Over the, over the past 10 years. It's whenever like, whenever the, the shingles get so fucked that I just give up and I just cover it with tar. The tar is not cheap. It's a little expensive and it's, it's 102 degrees outside. Here's the thing though. Every time I do it, and again, it's only been three times, I forget how motherfucking messy it is. I had three pairs of gloves didn't matter. I ruined one of my hats. My shirt's probably fucked. You don't think about, you don't think about how, how much shit you're gonna touch. Also, I painted my room, painted it. 
You think to yourself, oh, just paint, just paint the wall, no big deal. No, then you forget that when you take one step left, you step into the paint, a uh, drip falls down, it touches your arm, your arm touches your other arm, now you're covered in fucking paint. Same thing with that shit. The difference is paint, you can just go and just wash it off. Oh, paint's gone. The fucking tar, note, it's some of it, you can't see on this camera, I bet. Some of it is still in my palm because there's little like tiny rocks up there, little tiny rocks. So when I'm leaning on my palm, I'm shoving, I'm, I'm injecting the tar into my body. And, and Spider-Man was a cool idea. Tar man, useless. He can't, he has no powers. He has, he only has the power to disgust women. Oh, what are you, homeless? No, actually I got this from my home. I, I'm, on top of it, there's a roof and the tar, get away from me, you ugly bum. <laughs> <laughs> so that shit was just disgusting but i am very proud of myself i've been getting a lot of little home improvement shit done and you know what i think the reason is multivitamin is that the real reason i don't know but this is my third day in a row eating a multivitamin and three days in a row i've been full of energy maybe i'm missing a essential vitamin that i need anyways tarred the whole roof i have a tree in the backyard that's really annoying i trimmed it so now the dog can go under. The dog likes to hang out under the tree sometimes. I trimmed it so now he can go under it. The tree is like, it's touching the ground. You think that a tree goes up and then branches out? This tree just goes down and out. It, it doesn't get taller, it gets wider. It's a piece of shit. Oh, also, it drops these, these little seeds everywhere and they're perfect for dogs to fit into their little paws. And then the moment the dog touches the carpet, all the seeds come out full of seeds all over my carpet at the front door trim that fuck ass tree um there's some grass in the backyard like dead grass it's too hot for grass to be living right now so all the grass turns like yellow and dry like hay if you guys have ever seen like a hay bale my backyard is one big hay bale and one flat long stupid tree with fourth of july coming up uh i'm really Okay, I don't have water in my backyard. There's no way for me to put out a fire. If there's a fire in the backyard, I wouldn't be able to put it out. I would be I would be in a I'd be in quite a pickle. So I got to get rid of all this dead grass, hopefully. Um probably do that after the podcast here because I think 4th of July is on Tuesday. But I started it. I sweeped a little bit. Still got to get some work done on the mini ramp. I was considering maybe out of the scrap wood that I'm going to take off this mini ramp. I might make a little kicker, not, not, not for the reason you think, a little kicker to be like a drop-in point and then build a tiny box. And when I say a tiny box for skateboarding, I mean a small bitch. I mean like four inches tall, like four feet long, small. Because guess what? The older I get, the smaller my Ollie gets. And if you don't believe that, you can ask Jeff Rowley who did an entire video part of just rolling down a hill, rolling down a hill. You guys need to follow my second channel, Steve Hates Skating. You guys can find that at stevehatesskating.com. I think it'd be fun. It would really unlock a lot of things in skating that I've never been able to do. For example, I always like watching skateboarders do nollie back nose blunt. It's just a beautiful looking trick. I can't jump that high. I never have been able to, I never will be able to. So rather than make myself jump higher, why not bring the box down to my level? Yeah, I don't know why it took me uh, 23 years of skateboarding to realize this, but I should just be, I should just be making boxes smaller. And let me again tell you how frugal I am. This is, this is kind of embarrassing, but it's true. It, this is how I've been my whole life. I, I told you I got a new bed. My old bed frame, I threw away half of it. it. It came in two pieces, right? The front and the back. I threw away the front. I saved the back. Why? What are you going to do with half of a bed frame? It can't even hold anything up. I'll explain. <laughs> it's shaped as an angle iron. So it's a long piece of like, I don't know, steel or something. Um, it's shaped like, a, like a, an angle, motherfucker, 90 degree angle. Perfect for grinding on if you have a skateboard on a box. Now, I just flashed a bunch of money in front of the camera, right? I have enough money to go to fucking Home Depot and buy an angle iron. But in my mind, I'm like, well, why would I do that when 
I can just use half of my old bed frame. Kind of smart, yes. But here's the thing. I don't even have any plans to build a box. I'm not even, that's not even in my top 10 things to do. So I, I've essentially become a hoarder, a whore. Durr. <laughs> I'm just some type of fucking hoarder who just saves things that I don't fucking need. Man, I, I, I'll tell you guys more, more about the bed. The whole stream is just gonna be about the bed. I, uh, I moved my bed and I had all these old paperwork under it and one dead cockroach. So I'm looking at this paperwork. I'm like, why do I have, why do I have pay stubs from 2005? Why, why do I throw this shit away? Why do I keep that shit? <laughs> why, and why did I think it was so important that it needed to be safe and sound under my bed? Why? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I got rid of all that shit. Got rid of all of it. I had my taxes from like 2008, taxes? What? <laughs> why are you saving this? Oh man. So that's what's been going on. Uh, yeah, new bed. Oh wait, I was talking about the new channel, Steve Hate Skating. I did a whole video where I talk shit on Jeff Rowley. You guys need to check it out. Tomorrow, well, I guess this is gonna be different depending on when you watch this podcast. I, I have people, I have these guys, these guys watching live. To, today, I put out a video talking shit on Jeff Rowley. Tomorrow, a video comes out where I'm being nice. I'm being friendly and, and, and giving him props. Flowers, as the kids say. I'm, uh, I'm saying he's inspirational. But the timing of these two videos, I filmed the nice video on Monday. I filmed the mean video yesterday. But the mean video comes out first. It might be, listen, if I've ever had a talent in my life, other than having a giant dick, it has been the skill to make people complain and cry and moan and bitch online. I was, I was made for one thing. Some people are firefighters police officers, some people build buildings, plumbers, some people fix power lines, not me. I make people cry online. And I, I wish I wish I could have done something better with my life. But um, I feel, <laughs> you guys gotta, listen, even when I'm trying to be nice, motherfuckers are like complaining online. Maybe that's just the internet, right? Maybe it's not me, maybe I actually have no talent. Maybe I have zero talent and the internet is just, where everyone complains. But I, let me live in my little bubble here. I, I have a whole channel dedicated to making people cry. Steve hates skating. Please go check it out. Also, one of my longtime friends, this fool Bobby, he sent me a text. He goes, hey, I just looked at your new channel. Why are you like, why are you hating on uh, Chris Jocelyn? I was like, oh, oh my new channel. What's it called again? He goes, oh, the new one, uh, Steve Hates Skating. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, what was I doing? He's like, you, you were hating on Chris Jocelyn. I was like, it's in the name. I, what? What do you mean? It's, it's, it's in the name. That's what the channel is about. I'm, I'm pretending to hate on everybody. Jesus, figure it out. That's how I know I have skill and talent. I can tell you that I'm, that I'm like joking and being sarcastic and being mean, and people still don't, don't see it. They don't see it because I'm so good at what I do. Anyways, enough about me. <laughs> Check out the new channel, please. Also, uh, let's get that lump fixed on, uh, on my boy, Doug. Next topic, Tony Hawk is still out there scamming people. <laughs> Can you believe this? Actually, Sharky Genie's in the chat room. Sharky Genie, you joined the Tony Hawk uh, contest, right? As well as I'm sure, I'm sure a few of you guys did. Not everyone is going to talk about it now. You show me a contest where they say, well, you're in the top five. And then I like, oh, I'm in the top five. Wow, 10,000 people entered this. Oh, what? No, probably more, 50,000 people entered this tournament. I'm in the top five? Me? Little old me is in the top five? Well, we forgot to tell you, there's 50,000 people that are all in the top five. And you go, wait, wait a minute. Last time I checked, the top five consists of only five people. No, 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 no. You're talking about regular real life. I'm talking about Tony Hawk scam. 50,000 people are all in the top five. 
Oh, okay, you meant the Tony Hawk version of math that doesn't make any sense. Also, you touched your hand on the 900. Changed my mind. Um, I put out a post the other day. Jeannie says, I got to sixth, but now I'm out of it. I saw a post the other day. No, I made one. And it said, has anyone... This contest has been going on for months now. I said, has anyone been eliminated? Anyone. I said, all... This goes out to the entire internet. I know thousands of you have entered this contest. And they keep saying every week they eliminate half of the contest. Has anyone been eliminated? Crickets. Not a single person's been eliminated. You want to know why that's scammy? Is because to stay in it, motherfuckers are donating money. And they say, well, it goes to the skate park project. We're going to build new skate parks. Not all of it. Not all of it. And also, don't forget. They're counting on you to forget. I read a comment today that was very telling. They said, with all this money, we better see five skate parks being built. If not 10, if not 20, if not 50. All this money, I better see a goddamn skate park being built. Because all this money is going to the skate park foundation or whatever. We do not forget how much time, effort, and money was spent on this. Okay, we better see a goddamn skate park. We, there should be a skate park in every fucking. N never mind. Just fucking Tony Hawk out here scamming, dude. There you, uh, not not him. Okay, I take it out on him because he's the biggest name attached to it. But there's some, there's some scamminess going on, man. We've been talking about this for weeks now. It's getting worse. I was hoping that by now maybe someone would be eliminated. No, 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 no. Don't. <laughs> no. The reason for that is if everyone thinks they're this close to winning, if everyone thinks they're this close to winning, they're going to keep donating, they're going to keep giving money, they're going to keep advertising, they're going to keep sending you to the website, which then pays them even more from ad revenue. They're going to keep on doing it because they think they're this close. But again, that's I guess that's the that's the genius behind it is you have 50,000 people that are all they're all in second place. Fuck you. It is, uh, it's really ridiculous. Uh, let's talk about what I've been watching on TV. I watched a documentary. I don't know what it's called. It was on Netflix about cloning. Cloning. Like making one thing into two things. They started off cloning a goddamn sheep. Yeah, started off with a sheep. Then they cloned a pig, right? Then they cloned a dog, which I don't know anything about cloning, but they say that's very hard to do. Also, I don't want to know what happens when cloning goes bad. And then they started trying to figure out how to clone a person. And um, I guess, I guess this doctor was like, <laughs> he said he was getting like female, like eggs from voluntary donors. But in reality, he's like buying them off the black market. Pretty cool documentary. If you come across it, you don't have to be interested in cloning. It's pretty interesting. There's also this guy old millionaire who's like oh I, i'm cloning my dog and he did it he successfully cloned his dog i mean eh, he had like 10 failed 10 failed 10 failed dogs one survived and uh he says it's the same he says it's the same dog picks up the same traits same habits kind of interesting also i didn't know this um maybe i learned it in science class and forgot it they don't need like they don't need a piece of your brain. They don't need like a piece of your heart. Bro, it could be anything on you. They get a piece of your skin, a tooth, your eyeball, an eyelash, a fucking a piece of poop. And they can take that and clone you. Crazy. Because they say in every cell is your entire genetic makeup. That's kind of neat, right? So watch where you poop in case you're uh on the list somewhere but it's really interesting that 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 can happen and they were talking also about cloning dinosaurs how you gonna do that i don't know they're they're gonna figure it out try and clone a dinosaur and then uh some people were like why why would you clone a dinosaur i'd be like to look at like disneyland or something to to look at it fucking to to to, to do it in harambe's honor can we clone my boy harambe bring him back but uh they were like why 
they're not suited for this environment. They're not going to be able to hunt, have fun, enjoy things, roar. They're just, you're just going to be, you're just going to create an, an animal that's not even really capable of surviving on its own. So I kind of see like the, I kind of see why, why there'd be like an ethical problem there. But it's very interesting. I don't know if you guys are interested in shit like that, but uh, definitely check it out. Someone suggested that I watch Black Mirror. It's another series on Netflix. It's a series of like short movies. I've watched, uh, let's say 10 episodes. I thought they were all terrible, but I was recommended to watch the last episode of the newest season, season six. It's about this uh, woman who, okay, this is gonna get kind of stupid. If you, if you wanna watch it, go watch it. I'm recommending it if you have a spare hour. It's only one hour long. This woman picks up like a magical demon rock and then she's she's given this task and she doesn't know if she's going crazy or if like magic is real. So this demon comes into her life and she has to kill three people or else. And she only has three days to kill three people. And uh, the demon that's with her, like only she can see this demon, he will, he tells her, everyone's dark past you know he's like oh that guy fucking raped a kid oh that guy beats his wife and then this woman has to decide who she wants to kill i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys but uh pretty interesting if that sounds even slightly interesting go ahead and check it out anyways that's all i have for the podcast don't go anywhere because we're gonna play some mario after this can i get a oh shit hold on hold on one last thing would you guys like to win you guys want to win something I'm not, listen, I'm not Tony Hawk. I'm not Tony Hawk. I actually let people win my contest. This is all you gotta do. Answer this trivia question correctly in the chat and I will send you free, free stickers if you live in America. The question is, <laughs> what is a group of cats called? Cats, like meow. You know how you get a bunch of goose? It's called like a gaggle. I don't know if that's correct. You get a bunch of like uh, fish together. It's called a, I don't, what, whatever. I mean, you know how groups of things are called different shit? A bunch of sheep is called like a herd. I don't, l listen, I don't know what the term is. But when you get a bunch of fucking cats together, what's the, what's the word for it? By the way, cheating is allowed. Can you name me any other podcast in the world that gives away a free stack of stickers every single podcast. No, no, no. Bruce Wayne says a cluster. Sharky Genie says a clouder. A minge of pussies, a litter, hot to trot, a litter, pussy trotters. The answer was actually clouder. And again, I encourage, I encourage cheating. Here's the proof. It says clouder. According to Reader's Digest, I had a class in high school where we, we were forced against our will to read Reader's Digest every single like Wednesday. God, what a fuck ass class that was. Anyways, podcast is over. Can I get a oh hell yeah in the chat, please? So I can shout out everyone who tuned in live. If you guys showed up late, don't worry. The repeat of this podcast comes out on Sunday, 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 early in the morning. It comes out on Podbean, on Spotify, on iTunes, on YouTube. Also, if you have iTunes, go on to my podcast page and leave a review. Say, man, this is a great podcast. I watch it every single Friday. Or I watch it, I watch it every single Sunday. Shout out to Mr. Defo, Toronto Toad, Bruce Wayne, Infamy, Sharky Genie, Eric Sanchez, I Book Boy, UK. I appreciate you guys all for hanging out. You can always send me money. Money's always great. Although today I was, I was flashing a bunch of hundred dollar bills, so I don't expect anyone to give me money because I, I, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done. It. I should have begged. I should have begged and pleaded with you guys. I do appreciate iBook Boy for the resubscribe. iBook Boy has been subscribed for exactly twenty eight months. Twenty eight month long subscriber. You guys don't have to subscribe. You don't have to send money. But here's what you can do if you don't got any money. You can take your hands and your chin, and your mouth, and you can suck both of these nuts. No, I'm kidding. Well, for some of you, I'm kidding. What you can do is you can tell a friend 
about the podcast and then maybe that friend tells his friend or maybe that friend enjoys it or maybe that friend is a friend of a Saudi prince and the Saudi prince likes my podcast so much that he gives me a million dollars? Can you imagine how much fun that would be? What are you waiting for? We're not going to get to the Saudi prince shit unless you do something. Also, shout out to Toronto Toad for the $2 donation. As always, I appreciate you guys. Have a great weekend. Be safe out there. Don't get burnt on 4th of July. And as I always say, don't drink too much, but don't drink too little. I'm gonna go buy this tent, $24.